Day Trade and Stew here. Today is September 30th, 2021, the last day of the month, the last day of the third quarter. I ended green. Uh, two out of three trades were green. Uh, I'll go over them. That was again TQQQ and SQQQQ. They're my two favorites now. I'm just really getting to learn them. Um, I completely ditched all the small caps. I don't even turn my scanner on anymore. Um, it's all noise to me at the moment. I'm really just focusing on on the ETFs here. I have the um, main indexes up on my screen. So I got uh, the NASDAQ, which the Qs follow. I got the Dow. I got the SPY, uh, S&P 500. I also have the top six stocks. Uh, I can show you that actually really quick. If I were to trade, I think it was, uh, it was this one. Which one is it? not up on the screen let's reload I think it's on another screen I don't know why it's not here actually but I have the top six um, it's in my scan there's a let's see watch list so NASDAQ 100 I got the top um, by market cap so I have Apple Microsoft Google Amazon Facebook and Tesla all up on my screen what I realized was the top six there, they all move. I mean, more of them do, but I don't need to watch more than six. I have six of these on my screen at once. I'm not going to trade any of these guys. Uh, I'm not interested at the moment to trade these ones. I'm just trading the TQs because I like the price. It fits in my price budget, and I like the way it moves. Uh, point is, is I watched this today. All six of these with the Qs on top and the NASDAQ, they all move very similar. You'll see common tops, common bottoms. Um, common ranges so I really like this as a f as another confirmation uh, as I start to play more long positions being in positions longer so let's go back to the TQs um, I saw this open um, oh, it, I don't like when it does that to me but here's the five-day dump all the way down um, today was no different uh, it gapped up just like it did yesterday, gapped up. It had a similar chart from yesterday. I didn't trust it because, you know, you can't trust. You can use previous days as current days, but, you know, I haven't really had enough time. It's only been a week that I'm watching this chart. So as I get more custom to this chart, I'll like start to learn it better. But what I did see was this thing gap up, and it kind of trended down and held a kind of common bottom right here at 127.21 it dipped and then I, I felt it was going to go up and it did uh, let's go to the one minute chart so right at the beginning of the day um, instead of taking a pre-market I was afraid of a dump candle again I'm not fully confident with these two stocks as I get more confident it'll be better but what happened was I went in at uh, I waited for this one candle and then went at 931 and I got in at 128.41 when it finally triggered. So right here, not bad, not bad entrance. Uh, I wrote it to from 41 to 74. So pretty much the top of this candle here. These three definitely scared me, uh, but I started it, it started to push this candle. I got out. It only went a little farther and then right when it topped out, I saw this thing topping out. I think it was this candle actually here. As I saw this top out and get and get pushed right back down, I hopped over to SQs because I can't short. SQs is the inverse of the other chart we just saw. So as this thing came down, I thought it was gonna go back up pretty quickly. I thought it was gonna do a, a pretty good curl straight up. It ended up doing it, but not that soon. So it came out first three minutes, dumped down, which is the inverse of TQs. I got in at 934, so right around here, um, as this created a new high and did not break this low right here, I got in at um, 833.9, almost 834, right around here, I got in. Uh, I wanted to see this thing go 10 cents to 844, 834 to 844. 44 right here that's it all, all I want is 10 cents um, 
as you can see, it didn't really get there until later in the day, but it did come down and stop me out because I, I came down. I only had like a two cent, um, a two cent risk because I knew if this thing was going to go and break this, this high right here, then it was going to, it was, it was not going to go my way. So it did, it came down to stop me out here, but without getting frustrated or anything, I said, okay, it's going to continue to create this bottom. I'm going to get back in for the same price. It's actually the same price to the thousandth. Eight, thir eight, I'm looking at my chart. 8.3399. I got in both times. Um, one was a two cent loss when it stopped me out. And I got back in at 8.33, 999, so 8.34 almost right here. As it came up, up to 840, um, I moved my stop up for a two cent gain, um, and I held on to it for till 41. So pretty much, so it stopped me out right here at this candle right here, which is fine because it didn't go much higher. 840, I got any, I got out at 836. Um, so two cent winner, two cent loser on this ticker, whereas I had. A 33 cent winner on the TQs. So I'm happy with the day. I ended the day green. Um, I really ended the month green. This is my first month. I am green. Uh, let's see. The last this month. We'll, we'll apply the dates here and check it out. So we did have. Uh, we ended the month eighty dollars and seventy two cents in the green. I'm really stoked about that. My win rate was forty five percent. 45.7%, which is much better than I ever did before, with a total of 140 trades. Not bad. Uh, I'm cool with that. Life's good. I'm going to continue for the month of August, uh, starting the first, fourth quarter. I'm going to continue to just play SQs and TQs. I find it much more uh, relaxing, less stressful in the morning when I'm trying to I'm not searching for tickers anymore and trying to look at different dailies, look at different time periods for different tickers, wondering if it's going to be, you know, a pump and dump, wondering about the volume. I mean, this volume's always there, and I got multiple stocks to look at to confirm the TQs. Like I said, I got the top six market cap stocks in the stock market that all move very similar to the Qs today, if you look at it. Uh, which moves similar to the NASDAQ, which moves similar to the Dow, which moves similar to the SPY. They all move very similar. So you have all those stocks moving very similar together. So as I get more of um, my hands in this for the next month, because I've only been studying it for a week so far, uh, I'm just getting started. So I want to study this and just stick to the strategy, play the morning, try to find an entry for the afternoon, because I have the time come power hour, I'd like to get in. 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock, I'd like to find entry, get a nice gain there, uh, but I don't feel as comfortable in the afternoon as I do in the morning, so I'll work on that as I begin to learn these tickers better. Uh, but I finished the month off great. I'm really happy. I have uh, seven days now in a row that I'm green. So today I started with seven, seven share position. Tomorrow I'll start with eight share position. Every day I go up one share as I become more green and as I lose I take off a share so that's my that's my strategy so I ended the month really happy I'm really happy with the performances today and uh, I'm still trading my strategy not trading my PL that's really important and uh, that's what it takes to become successful so I really feel like I've created an edge by just focusing on this strategy these tickers and really learning this inside and out. So I hope you guys stay green out there. Any questions, comments, drop them below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, you got to subscribe because you're going to see my progression into a successful day trader. And I'm documenting each day on this YouTube channel. So you can see that day trading is hard. It takes time, but it doesn't matter your P&L. You're not going to live off this for a while. So, you know, and you got to remember college takes four years. Why would you think day trading takes any less? Uh, it is the hardest thing, one of the hardest jobs to do in the world. It tests your emotional ability every single minute, every single day. So if it's the hardest thing, why isn't it eight years to learn this, which is 
I, I think not surprising. I mean, you have to be a doctor and doctors can't mess up at all. They have rarely a mess up ever in their career. And they study for eight years, at least. Uh, so I don't see why it shouldn't take less than a few years to get this right. And that's what it takes, time and patience. So hope you guys have a great day and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.